You know, Mrs. Dude and I just recently did a collaboration, and you'll see the video here very shortly. But I wanted to make her something nice for dinner because of that. So we're gonna start with just some potatoes. Now I like baby reds, and I don't I don't take the skin off. I've actually got kind of a fascinating story on that, but I don't. I don't take skin off. I like it just all natural, just like that. Of course, they're cleaned. All right, we just finished this last one up. Perfect. Throw some salt in there. And let's get them over the heat. For the chicken, the first thing we want to do is start on our marinade. So I just have a quarter cup here, and I've got some red wine vinegar. I bet you can't drink this. I love vinegar. Quarter cup, EVOO, as my girlfriend would say. Sorry, Mrs. Dude. Yep, she's real in my life. Quarter cup of soy. Now, I got the low sodium soy, but still, quarter cup's quarter cup. Put it down in there. Just gonna give it a mix. I'm gonna put it all together. Now, for our herbs and spices, we start with one and a half teaspoons of parsley flakes. I have one teaspoon right here. Half teaspoon of basil. Half a teaspoon of oregano. Quarter teaspoon of garlic powder. Now I'm gonna do a teaspoon of onion powder and a quarter teaspoon of black pepper. Just give it a good whisk. Hmm. Now, I have four chicken thighs. Pour it over like so. Give them a good stirring. Put the lid back on, and away it goes into the refrigerator for four hours. But guess what? I already prepped some beforehand, and it's ready to go, so let's do it. The first thing I want to do before we put our chicken down on the grill is to clean it. Now, I like to keep a clean grill, but you just never know. Sometimes maybe like my son or somebody came behind me, used it, or you know, I missed something in the last clean. So here we go. All right, let's throw our chicken down. Now for chicken, we want to have an internal temperature of at least 165. I like to hit 175, just to be on the safe side. When it comes to chicken, I mean seriously, you don't want cross-contamination or anything like that. You really got to watch these things. So our chicken right now is cooking at about 350 degrees. I do have it on low. It's been on there for about five minutes. But I just happened to notice that the potatoes look like, well, they might be done. So I gave them the test. And you know what the test is. You put the fork in there or a knife or whatever. And if it just sinks into the potato, no resistance, they're done. And we are there. So I'm going to remove the potatoes from the heat and drain them. And then we're going to finish them up. So like I said, our potatoes are done. And it's time to put them in and start mixing them up. But before we do that, I just wanted to do a call out real quick to my buddy Coleman over at Chilling and Grilling with Coleman. He had a talk show the other day, and he was live, and he said that he uses the Pampered Chef thermometer. And he called me out too and said, hey, I think Mike over at the Dude's Kitchen does, and I, and I do. And we'll use this to check the chicken temperature here in just a moment. My wife sells these. She sells this thing too. And this is also a Pampered Chef device, and it's called the Pampered Chef Multiflex Tool. Potatoes ain't got nothing on me, guys. Check that out. That is cool. It's got a little battery here. Anyhow, I'll leave a link down below. Woo, that's warm. Throw the potatoes down in there. Now, I'm going to throw some garlic in here because I love garlic. But not a lot. Can you know garlic will overpower it? I'm going to throw some cheese in here as well. Make them a little cheesy, nothing crazy. But the secret to this is the whipped cream. Well, we're going to throw some of that in here as well. 
We're just going to start with yeah, about that much. The Pamper Chef Multi Flex Tool. Look at that. I don't need no stinking lid. This Pamper Chef Multi Flex Tool is like the flux capacitor of tools for cooking. It'll get you anywhere. I'm going to put a little bit more whipped cream in here. It's because I want these things to be a little bit creamier. Do you know what I have to say? As potatoes go, these are pretty damn creamy. I'm going to throw some onions on the top for garnish. Looks good. Let's check our chicken out. It's funny, it seems like when you do a video, everything just kind of goes downhill towards the very end. The beginning, it's like you're rocking it. You know what you're going to do. You know what you're going to say. But towards the end, because you're, there's so many different environments and different ways, you know, that this whole cook could have went, you can't really stick to the, to the script. But let's check our chicken. I just checked the temperature on the chicken. And two of them are at that 175 mark. The other ones are hanging at about 165. Technically, yes, I could pull them off, but not going to. I'm going to pull the 175s off, though. These two pieces of chicken look amazing. So I'm going to plate these up. Take our first piece of chicken here. Get some of those potatoes that we made. I don't know about you, but man, that looks amazing. It's time to try this. We'll start with a piece of chicken. That marinade just makes us really compliments the chicken. Let's try our potatoes. You know, you got a great potato flavor, that red potato, right? And you get a little bit of garlic. I haven't seen any cheese in here. I think it just all melted away into there, but let's try this. I want to try a piece of chicken with my potato. Come on. Mm. Most excellent. This is so simple to make. You just got to have a little bit of patience, like, you know, about four hours to let your chicken marinate, but it's so worth it. You could try it with a chicken breast if you want. Try it without. Try it, you know, like I did, and that is with a chicken thigh. Just cut the fat off. Like the fat, go for it. But the fat, I don't think, has anything really to do with the flavor when it comes to the chicken. There you have it. Super simple. All right. Thanks, everybody, for watching. We will talk to you next time. Love you. Peace. Take care. Now, I had a friend named Eric years ago, and his dad was a prisoner of war in Indonesia during World War II. And Eric told me this story once where he was uh, making potatoes, and he was taking the skin off. And his dad got really upset because, well, potato, you can eat the skin. And that's one of the things that they subsisted on during the war was potatoes and you did not waste a single thing. So there's my story about potato skins.